Is this really the Maldives of Cambodia? Or has this Paradise Island been impacted by the massive development of Senecville, which is just 25 kilometers off the coast? Cambodia's idyllic island of Koh Rong is the country's largest and fastest developing island. Located in the Gulf of Thailand, this lively island is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in Cambodia. We're on this Paradise Island and are gonna be beach hopping and catching some unreal sunsets. We have touched down on Koh Rong and first impressions, absolutely beautiful. Stunning. That sand there. The sea looks lovely. We got a uh, boat over here from Sanukaville and it cost us $23 each and that's for a return trip. It doesn't matter when you go back, you just yeah, get a return ticket. So, Koh Rong or Koh Rong, so Yeah, from either of the islands. And yeah, it took around about an hour to get to here. We are staying on uh, Koh Touch. So straight on the island and straight for a dip. We come to Koh Touch Beach. This is where we're staying. And honestly, it's like absolute paradise. Water is crystal clear. The sand is absolutely beautiful. It's good to be back on an island. Not sure what that is all about, to be honest. There's a little bakery here. And look at all these treats. All these buns, very, very nice. Yeah. We just picked up a cinnamon bun and I got a chocolate and peanut butter bun. So yeah, can't wait to dig in to be honest. They look absolutely banging. And right next to that little bakery, you've also got a little fruit stall here. Got a fruit salad. Picked up a medium fruit salad and a fruit shake. Not these, I don't know. They look like strawberries. Are you right? They do look like strawberries. Oh yeah. Beautiful that. Look at this morning setup. Absolutely beautiful that is. Last night we found out something absolutely amazing. So these uh, Cambodia cans. Actually, when you pull up the little like ring tag there, it's got a number on it, like this one here. So last night that one's got a one on it. And yeah, you can basically win free beers and you can actually win some money as well. It's a winner, I can feel it. Oh, what you got? I think that is one beer. Yeah, one, happy days. First you just want a beer. Jubbly, jubbly. I'm just about to beat Beth at chess, just like I did last night. <laughs> She's fuming, mm. absolutely fuming. My time to redeem myself. <laughs> just a short walk through the uh, jungle over there on that corner. And yeah, that is uh, Koh Touch Beach over there. And we're now on Longset Beach. I think it's also known as 4K Beach. And yeah, just the same. It's absolute paradise here. We walked through and we went past the uh, Nest Hostel, which is known for having Nestable, which is every Saturday and basically just a massive beach party. It's from like in the evening and goes until the next morning, like sunrise. So yeah, if you're on here on Koh Rong on a Saturday, then I would definitely recommend going there. It's Sunday today, so we actually just missed it. But yeah, maybe we'll be here next week. You never know. Fisherman Bear, going for it. The old school method, look. Yeah. I bought one a bit of line. Don't fall in. Oh! <laughs> You're such an ass. <laughs> sunset absolutely unreal it's boat trip day for us today and we've got a full afternoon ahead of us and it involves snorkeling fishing swimming plankton and a barbecue lunch First stop, a spot of snorkeling. See what we can see. Right, a bit of fishing. Let's see if we can get something. How's it going so far for you? I'm feeling positive. There's yeah? two people just caught a big fish, though. Yeah. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> after all are. the after all the disappointment yesterday, <laughs> look, he's, he's oh, that's <laughs> number two, Tom <Come> Louis. <laughs> no luck for us today. So we just stopped at Long Beach, just behind me. 
runs all the way up there to the Sock Sand. Stopped here, just yeah, had a little swim, got the barbecue on now, sunset in the background. Lovely. an exploration day for us today on the scooter we just rented it from like a place in the village and we've got it for two days and it was $18 in total first stop for us today is coconut beach the sand is a little bit dirty but the walls is crystal clear so there's only one thing that that means This is our first like full day of exploring the island of Koh Rong. First impressions when driving around the island is that it's so much bigger than what I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought you'd be able to probably drive to the north in about 15 minutes, but yeah, it probably took us, I would say, going on 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get to Coconut Beach from Cove Touch. So yeah, definitely a lot bigger than what I thought. And there are some massive plans for this island as well. When you're driving around they've got loads of like uh, drawings on the future development of this island and i believe it is all mostly being funded by the chinese and they want to build an airport here on the island so that it makes it very accessible for the chinese to come and to be honest i can see why the beaches are beautiful when we were at longset beach we weren't anticipating for the sand flies and both of us have come off a little bit bitter and joseph definitely worse 100%. i'll show it on your back yeah, ooh, there. Savage. Even the guy in the shop noticed it earlier, didn't he? So Couple more days well. though. Yeah. Proper itchy. Especially during the night, innit? Yeah, yeah, night is bad. And he said it lasts like four days, so only a couple more days left. Fingers crossed. No more bites. <laughs> <laughs> we have made it to Lonely Beach. Oof, journey down here was a little bit sketchy. I don't think the rain that's happened here recently has helped, to be honest. There was loads of mud and wet sand that you could easily slip on but i think if you've got a little bit of experience i think you'll be sweet and the beach is beautiful here's the <laughs> aftermath of the journey down here a bit muddy wasn't it very muddy <laughs> Sleeping, are you? Mm. <laughs> Crystal clear water, check. Beautiful sand, check. Dip complete, check. Oh, and by the way, that boat trip that we done, I would definitely recommend that. The whole like day and afternoon was really, really cool. Fishing was good. We caught a few fish and the plankton as well. Like, that was absolutely mental. I was absolutely mind blown by that. You have to go and make sure you get in the water. I couldn't film it because it's obviously really dark, but it's mental. Make sure you have goggles, go in the water, and yeah, your mind will be absolutely blown away. And that cost us $12 each as well. <laughs> Just a short scoot from Lonely Beach, and come to Narrow Beach, and over there in the distance, that is Songsa Private Island. It looks absolutely unbelievable. A little bit spending though, I had a look online, and the cheapest one that you can get there is $1,500, and that is for one night. And it also ranges up to six thousand dollars you've got your own villa private pool out into the ocean absolutely ridiculous if you've got the money that would be a cool experience i'll tell you what island life is definitely for me this is paradise you cannot beat it and if you're looking to do anything in the south of Thailand, in the islands, then make sure you check out the other videos that are on the channel. And I can see you, yeah, you, you're sat there, not subscribed, just chilling, but you're watching all the videos. You might as well just subscribe, just hit that button, go on. Whee! <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> 
<laughs> God, all this swing has made me tired. And if you're tired about being stressed when you go on holiday, then why don't you subscribe to my emails? I'm gonna be giving out all my best tips, advice, and experiences that can help you with your travels. Click the link in the box below. This beach is absolutely lovely, but again, it's just been hit with a little bit of the old plastic that's been washed up from the shore, which seems to be the reoccurring theme here in Kovrong. And I'm not showing you that rubbish in order to put you off trying to come here. Because this is absolutely a beautiful island to come to. I'm just trying to show you the whole of the island and what it is actually like compared to some of the other stuff that you might see that might just be a highlight reel. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot to mention this as well. On either of the Korong Islands, there are no ATMs. So make sure that you get enough cash out for your whole time whilst you're here. You can get like a cash service from places on the islands, but they charge like an 8% fee. So definitely cheaper to just get it out from the ATM before you come in. We're now on Soxan Beach, and this is on the north of Long Beach. You can see it literally runs all the way down there. And over there is where we got dropped off on the boat and watched the sunset for. Yeah, it's really nice up here. The sand is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? So good, look, Beth catching the rays. Soaking it all up. <laughs> we've just come in. This is actually a resort, and we've just uh, yeah blocked our stuff down on these beds. So yeah, no idea if we can use them or not, but I'm sure we'll get told if we can't. See, well, maybe this sand is a little bit squeaky because it's like really, really fine that it's making that noise. Feels a little bit weird, but also so soft at the same time. We've come down to Pagoda Beach and we couldn't really find it that well, so we just walked for a resort and it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that little bedroom there, or like a little bungalow, straight out onto that. What an absolute view that is. I just had a little look on Agoda and that place that right there was just a £65 a night which I don't think is actually too bad obviously a bit out of our budget for what we're on on this trip but if you've got it this would definitely be a very very nice place to just come and chill out I tell you what there is literally no rubbish on these beaches the results literally rake the sand I'm not liking the look of these dark clouds behind me, but I tell you what, if you want to come for an affordable luxury retreat, then this is definitely the place. These places are absolutely stunning. And this beach is so peaceful. And if they're all 65 pound like the other one, then that is an absolute bargain. Just look at this lovely raked sand. So fancy over here. Even though we had the really dark clouds earlier, which are actually still behind me, there is an amazing sunset here on Long Beach. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, that is. Of course, when we were driving home, we got caught in a massive rainstorm. We did not have any luck with scooters and it raining. Look at this. Absolute! Oh my god! That was mental. What a dude! It is our final morning here on the main island of Koh Rong before we head over to Koh Rong Sam Leon. And Beth, what's your favourite beach? I've got three top favourites. Three. Is that allowed? Yeah. That's allowed. yeah okay. Um, this is Koh Tak Beach, which has the best sand. No, the best sea. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Coconut Beach had the best seafood snorkeling, but it was like around the pier, but it was a bit dirty. Um, and Sok Beach had the best sand, which we went to yesterday, that was really beautiful. So, and just around the corner from Long Beach, which has the sunset. She's actually gone for four beaches, so <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep mine to two, and I'm going to say Koh Touch, which is what we're on now, is more of like a lively vibe and a good place to stay. And then Pagoda Beach is for definitely a more chilled out vibe and you'll pretty much just stay in your resort, relax, do nothing and catch some rays. So is this really the Maldives of Cambodia? I would say it's definitely the closest thing I've seen to it since I've been in the country. The beaches here are unreal, but there is a little bit of rubbish on them. 
And look, I'm not here to say stop using plastic as I'm no angel, but seeing what it does to these amazing islands is a bit sad and does get you thinking. I definitely recommend renting a scooter and exploring the other beaches on the island. The roads are really good. It's basically just one road around the whole island. The only bad part is between Kotaj and Longset Beach, which hasn't been completed yet. With all the planned development on the island, who knows what will happen in the next two years here. With the airport being built, I could easily see this turning into Koh Samui in Thailand. And if you want to see how we spent our time in Koh Samui in Thailand, then maybe you should check out this video here.